Hello everyone, I am Ganesh Naik and today we are going to be talking about the CFA Level 1 exam. We will be exploring various aspects and strategies which can help you to be in the top 10 percentile of the actual exam result. But before that, we have to understand how exactly the CFA result is being given to you. So exam of CFA Level 1 is the first step of becoming a Chartered Financial Analyst unlike any other tra traditional exam where you get a numeric score or a numeric score. The CFA Institute gives you the result in a very unique format. It gives you representation of what is your performance as compared to the others in terms of percentage. Let us break down the entire result to understand it better. So over here you can see this blue line, that is your performance. Next, we can see minimum passing score which is this line which is explicitly being highlighted as a benchmark by the CFA Institute. If you are scoring above this benchmark, you have cleared the exam. If you are scoring below this benchmark, you are failing the exam. Can you see the last line, the dotted line? That is the 10 percentile. This percentile line identifies the bottom 10 percentage of all the test takers. If your score falls within this range, it indicates that you have scored in the lowest in the exam. Then can you see the top percentile, which is the 90th percentile? That is on the opposite end. This represents the top 10 percent of students who have been able to achieve the highest score in the exam. If you belong to this, you are in the elite group of top performers, outperformers in the exam. So let us try to see how you can be in the top 10 percentile students for the upcoming CFA exam. To reach there, you have to focus on these key aspects which I am going to share with you today, which will help you to score in the top 10 percentile. The first one, manage ethics. It is very crucial to really understand ethics section, to clear and be in the top percentage of the exam because though it has a good amount of weightage in the exam and also your performance in the ethics is going to have a very good impact on the overall score. Moreover, this section focuses on ethical principle, not just theoretically but also applying it in the real world of finance. So understanding both the theory and application is very very crucial to be in that top 10 percentile. Second point, clear study plan. A lot of students who have been in that top 10 percentile, they have been having a focused study plan giving good attention to important concepts like ethics, financial statement analysis, quantitative method and they are also allocating proper time to each subject so that there is a full coverage and not neglecting any topic. Third point, revision of Schwager. Majority of the students, they prefer Schwager books to prepare for the exam and they make sure that they go through three to four times before the exam and this strategy of repetition helps them to strengthen their understanding of the content improve their ability to recall the knowledge and ultimately leading them to do a better performance in the exam and be in the top 10 percent. Next point being solve CFA Institute material questions. All the top 10 percentilers they have a habit of solving the CFA Institute question line and also the blue box in the example given. These examples are real life exam styled question which if you are able to solve them you are demonstrating good understanding of the concept. So make yourself familiarize with the question format which will help you to strengthen your understanding on the day of the exam. Next point, identifying key concepts. Top performers generally identify which are the key areas where CFA Institute can test. The definition, concepts, they write flashcards, they create memory notes, they create summary notes to revise those key concepts properly and keep consistency in revising those key concepts throughout the preparation time. The next point being time management. Managing your time effectively is very very important in the exam. All the top performers know, top performers know about this at the, from the start. So when they are solving the question bank also, they focus on whether my time management is proper or not. And this is going to have a good influence on the overall result. The next and very very important, mock exam and progress tracking. If you, are, if you want to be in the top 10 percentile, make sure that you solve 5 to 7 mock exam under time manner like an exact test. After each mock, analyze your performance, understand where you need improvements and also try to see where was the gap and prepare yourself for the next exam. The next point, practice, practice, practice. It is important for a lot of you to understand that to be in that top area, regular habit of practicing the question bank is very, very important. It not just help you to become a good problem solver, but you all, it also get give you confidence in terms of whether the concepts that you have learned have you been able to apply in that in that timed manner or not? So practicing and studying both has to go consistently. So in summary, if you want to have success in the CFA exam and get in the top 90 percentile, then you have to be 
having a strong understanding of the schooling system, strong understanding of ethics and important books. Also, you should be able to manage answering the question in a time manner. You should have a right strategy and a combination of all of this would ideally take you towards the top 10 percentile of the exam result. So are you ready for your upcoming exam? Best of you.